Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the gain set on your Behringer Flow 8. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now I have the Behringer Flow 8 here and I have my phone connected. And if you're setting up your mixer for the first time, make sure to go check out my Bluetooth connection video on getting your phone connected to the console so you can actually get the extra features of the console. But this video is gonna be talking about how to get our gain set. Now I have my microphone here plugged into channel one and I'm wanting to go ahead and set the gain. Now what I can do is I can press and hold gain and then that will change this to be in the gain configuration. Now what we will do is we'll see that there's an offset light lit on all of these channels. And if I go and adjust this microphone level up, we will see this little white line along this. And what we need to do is we need to raise this up until we get 230, and then we can see that this is now at the level because our offset light is now not on. And then you can raise and lower this depending on where you want to have your gain set. Now, if you're wanting to adjust the gain of channel two, we would just go to channel two, start raising that. We can see that this changed to mic two, and we would need to raise this up until we get to that level. We can see that the offset light has turned off, so now it is set there. So we can go anywhere from negative 20 all the way up to positive 60 on our gain. Now, by default, the flow eight has these at 30. We can see that all of these are at 30, and then this on five and six are both set to zero. So if we go and raise this all the way up on all of these, that's what our gain would look like if we needed to get our faders here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to next show you how to get our easy gain set. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these faders down to zero. Now, easy gain is a feature of the Flow 8 that allows us to press and hold these two buttons, monitor one and monitor two, and then we can take our microphone and sing into it or play our guitar or play our keyboard the volume that you would need to be playing during the show. Now, you should be looking to play the loudest that you would be playing during that show. So if you have some guitar pedals, you would want to be going into your solo overdrive mode. If you were on your bass, you would want to engage your drive. If you were playing your acoustic, you'd wanna make sure it's turned up all the way and that you're strumming as loud as you would be during the loudest portion of your song. Same with the microphone. You would want to be singing into it at the volume at which you would be during your show. So to set this up in easy gain, all we have to do is press and hold our monitor one and monitor two. Now I can change this to be on any of our lines or I can set it to all. So if you have multiple people that are playing all at the same time, you can just set this to all, press go, and then have everyone play the loudest that they would be playing during the show. And then once you're done, you can turn it off and it will have set all of the gains of all of the channels at the same time. If you're wanting to do it individually channels, for instance, I'm going to be doing it with this microphone, you would go select the channel that you want, for instance, microphone one here, and then we would go ahead and press this down. We can see that this is calibrating right now. So I'm gonna talk into this microphone, check, 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 and then once I'm done, I'm going to press the button again. And then we can see that our microphone offset is set. Additionally, it has raised our volume of this microphone up automatically to negative 10. So we can see that our offset light is not lit here. So we would need to raise this up until we get to negative 10. And now we can have control over this microphone. But check, check, check. So this microphone's now working. Now, if I was to go plug this into another channel, for instance, channel three, I would then go into easy gain by pressing and holding our monitor one, monitor two, and then we would go and select microphone three. And then we would press our select just button, and now it's calibrating. So now we would go check, 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 hey, hey, hey. And then once we're done, we go ahead and press that button again. It has set our level on this and also turned it up to negative 10. Now let's, for instance, do this quieter. So I'm gonna speak very quiet in this microphone for our channel two. So I'm gonna go into two. I'm going to select mic two. I'm going to press this and I'm gonna be very quiet. Check, check, check. Hey, 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 check, check. 
So now we can turn this up to negative 10. And if we want to go and see where our gain levels are set, we can press and hold our gain. And so we can see that on microphone one, it's set at 234 dB for the gain. On microphone two, it's set it all the way up to the top at 60. And then on microphone three, we can see that it was set to 33 dB. Now, the other thing that Easy Gain will do is on microphone channels one and two is it will automatically turn on phantom power if it senses that the microphone needs it. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't suggest plugging a ribbon microphone into channel one or channel two just in case that microphone could be destroyed if phantom power was turned on. So if you do have any microphones that could be damaged by phantom power, for instance, old ribbon microphones, then I would suggest plugging those into channels three and four, not one and two. Now, additionally, if we were wanting to adjust our gain via the app, we could simply do that. So I'm going to plug this microphone into channel four as we haven't used channel four yet. And I'm going to go and click on channel four. And we can see that I can do my check, check, check. And this will show us our metering right here. So I can go and turn this all the way up to 60 in which we will see that I am all the way at the top and this is too loud. And if we turned this all the way down, we would also notice that this is too quiet. You can barely see the meter even moving, which is why the Behringer Flow 8 sets things around 30, because this is a pretty standard gain setting for most microphones. Most microphones you're going to find are going to be in the 15 to 40 dB range for our gain. And so if we were wanting to raise this up or down, all we have to do is raise this up or down to set our gain. And then we can just go ahead and simply raise and lower our level here via that or right here on this portion of the app. Now, one thing before the end of this video to talk about with this easy gain setting is it doesn't adjust your overall main send level quite yet. So our master volume that we have set for our mains, if you have this turned down and you're doing your easy gain setup, you won't hear anything through the PA because this is turned down. So if you want to be doing your gain settings without anything going through the PA, make sure to turn your mains down. And then once you have everything set, then you can go ahead and raise that up to the level that you need to have for your show. Additionally, the same goes for your monitors. If you have your monitors set down at zero on both of them, then no audio is going to be traveling through once your easy gain is done because your master levels are set to zero. Now that brings me to the conclusion of this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. What Behringer has done with this Flow 8 is made it very simple for a group of people going into this mixer to get set up pretty quickly with this easy gain setting. And also, if you don't want to rely on the easy gain setting, you have the ability of setting all the gains manually yourself along with the app or just guessing on your gain settings here. Now, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if any of these videos have been helpful for you, consider becoming a member of my channel as just a way to say thank you and give back to me for making all of these videos available for you. Check out drewbrashler.com for some more articles, tips, and tricks. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.